It's out with the old and in with the new season. A new win-loss record. New stakes. But maybe. Hopefully. The same move. Let's go. Week 10 is do or die. Set those expectations high. Just things, they're set to intensify. We're the Hallsville Cheer Team, and you're watching ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday Playoffs. Let's go! This is ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday, the playoffs edition. Sponsored by Harper, Evans, Wade, and Nettemeyer. When you have one shot to win it all. What is up, everyone? Welcome into week 10, the season finale of Sports Zone Football Friday. I'm ABC 17 Sports Director Natalie Jones. This may be the season finale, but don't worry. We're still going to be all over the playoff for action for you guys over the next few weeks. It is win or go home. From here on out, a time for teams to try and add some hardware to the trophy case or earn a little bit of redemption here tonight. Featured a couple of regular season rematches. That's including battle in Capital City. The last time they met, it came down to the wire folks. A shootout ending in a tight three point win for Joe Collier's group. Same matchup, same location to open up the class five district five tournament. Cap City looking for back to back wins over battle and win its first ever playoff game. Big defensive contest to start. Evan Schaefer keeps this one for Cap City. Samson Ojo, though, blows up that play and forces a fumble. And just like that, it's battle football. Good way to start for the Spartans. And they couldn't get some points on the board, though, with that possession. Second quarter, Cavaliers did break through first. My advice every game, hand it off to Jalen Thomas and let the man work. Look at him. Slips a tackle, makes another man miss there. And he has a lane into the land of six skipping in there we love to see it seven nothing in favor of the home team a little later still same score spartans they're looking for some points here they're looking deep alex fernandez lifts up a bomb but look at this pass breakup from jacarius richardson gotta watch it again bats it away nice defense one of the big stories of this game for capital city momentum keeps swinging the way of cap city back to punt now Nice boot here, but you gotta watch. It goes off the hands of battle. He doesn't catch it. Mad dash to get it. No one has it. Now they do, and it's the Cavaliers. They're gonna end up on top of it. They're gonna try to capitalize on it too. Flip it over to Thomas. But Ojo, I'm telling you, he was all over the field. Blows up that play as well. Capital City settles for a field goal on that one, and Cavaliers win their first ever postseason game 26 to 7 over battle. Just down the road. These people right here, they have the right idea. Bundle up out there as Jefferson City is hosting Fulton. The cheerleaders are still doing a good job out there despite the cold. We love to see it. Hornets looking to start strong in this game. Hand it off to Malik Douglas and let the man work. Look at him. He gets outside the numbers there and he's rumbling down the sideline. Will he go all the way? Not quite. Jay's do manage to drag him down eventually, but weather really playing a factor here. A lot of mist out there tonight. Thomas Pittman fumbles the handoff to Douglas. And that's Jeff City football. Jay's looking to start fast. They'll attack the run game as well. That's what they do best. Give it to Jaden LaViolette. And the man has a blocker and a lane to the house. Jefferson City up on the board for 7 nothing at Atkins Stadium. Jeff City back in the red zone now. Make it. LaViolette's second touchdown of the night. Just strolling in there. Jays are rolling offensively. Couldn't stop him. Ground and pound. That is the name of the game for Damon Wells' group. Give that man a little break. How about the defense gets out there? Fulton needs an answer. Gabe DeFly is going to call his own number and get something going here for the Hornets. He returns a kickoff to midfield to get his offense in good field position. Got to keep that momentum rolling. Trey Poor hits who else but DeFly. By sideline there, Fulton offense going full seam ahead now, moving the chains. Poor this time takes the handoff, sees Kalen Chambers. Look at him strolling into the end zone. That gives Fulton a little life. You love to see that, but not quite enough life. Jays still win at 63 to 16. Camdenton squeaks by Rolla tonight, 17 to 14. Hickman falls to Francis House Central, 42 to 22. Smith Cotton season ends against Carthage, 42 to 3. Warrensburg wins a close one over Osage, 30 to 28. And Boonville blinks Knob Noster tonight, 35 nothing.
That's the first half of Sports Zone Football Friday. The playoffs stick around. We've got full coverage of one of the premier districts in high school football, Class 3, District 4. That's all coming up next. Earn a 25 cent high V fuel saver for every $50 you spend. That's a 25 cent fuel saver this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Only at High V. Think you can't afford a real Jeep? Then you haven't been to Jim Butler's CDJR Powerhouse. With the region's hugest inventory of new Chrysler's, Dodges, Jeeps, and Rams. Top dollar for your trade-in and bar none best prices. There's a reason we're the number one dealer for states around. We say yes when other dealers say no. See why we outsell the competition by far during Jeep Adventure Days. Uh, look at this. A Medicare plan with a prepaid card for healthy groceries and other expenses. Is that from Aetna? Yeah. Why? I have an Aetna Medicare plan. I get a prepaid card with a monthly allowance. I can use on groceries, utilities, even rent. Really? Yep. You should give them a call. If you're eligible for Medicare and Medicaid, call us at 1-888-28-ETNA. We'll explain benefits you may be eligible for, like a card with a flexible monthly allowance you can use on groceries and more. Call 1-888-28-ETNA today. Bruno! Pop on the run? No problem. With five drive modes, Rogue makes this a walk in the park. Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get a low 369 per month lease on Rogue. For real? Ultimate fuel efficient VC turbo engine hustles like an MVP. Game on. Drive the Nissan Altima. Now get a low 299 per month lease on Altima. There's more to F&A Cycle than you may already know. Sure, they're experts in antique restoration, motorcycle, ATV, and UTV maintenance. They equip power sports enthusiasts with apparel and protective gear, hobbyists with top-quality radio-controlled vehicles. Now F&A Cycle offers in-house powder and Cerakote durable coatings. They're Mid-Missouri's only certified Cerakote applicator. F&A Cycle is always fine-tuning their performance in the garage and in the showroom. Check them out at the corner of Business Loop and Old 63. You bring joy. You give smiles. You create memories. You are someone's favorite person, and your health matters. Four out of ten adults will develop cancer in their lifetime, but screening tests can catch cancer early and help save lives. For the lives you touch, to learn which cancer screenings are right for you and to schedule an appointment, visit GetScreenedNow.com or call 314-208-2737. Now playing at Sight and Sound Theaters in Branson, Missouri. Everyone has a story. All young women are to be taken to the palace. The choices we must face. Go to the king. Plead for the lives of your people. At a time that was chosen for us. Perhaps you were made for such a time as this. What you are about to see is my story. Queen Esther, live on stage at Sight and Sound Theaters in Branson, Missouri. Save big this Friday through Sunday at High V. Whole boneless pork loin, just $1.77 a pound. Red grapes, just $1.98 a pound. And our special recipe brats or patties, 10 for only $10. Only at High V. Well, Class 3 District 4 might be the most talented district in Midmo High School football. That bracket features four top 10 teams in Class 3. Blair Oaks, Centralia, Moberly, and Southern Boone. Blair Oaks has a bye week, but this plenty of fireworks still on display to kick off this district. This weekend, 8-1 Centralia, 4-5 and five Hallsville combined to score 101 points when they met in Week 2. Much higher stakes for that Boone County battle tonight. Lots of Points last time, not too many this time. Look at that. Case and Conyers runs into a brick wall. Some trailers Rex Bryson and Jesse Caballero make a nice stop there. A couple plays later, Braden Matheny under pressure. And Luke Waltamate, look at that, holds in a big interception. Defense, the story of this game. He's not going down easy. Puts Centralia in great field position here. But the Hallsville defense, can you guess what? They responded. Cullen Bennett overthrows Bo Hatton. And Dalvin Smith is right there waiting for it. Huge pick for H-Town to stall out that Panther drive. Hallsville looking to get the chains moving here a little bit. Let's get some offense. First quarter, Matheny looking for a receiver. But look out for Ian Tuggle. Big time sack.
for Centralia. Believe it or not, no points between these teams in the opening quarter. Centralia got the scoring started, though. Second quarter, Cavalero weaved through traffic there to the house for a touchdown. Panthers lead Centralia 6-0 after a failed two-point conversion. Here comes H-Town, though. Matheny is going to roll out. Look at this. Nice job staying on his feet here and drops a dime to Isaac Stinson. Big first down here for Hallsville. That's kind of the momentum they needed. And how about this? Colton Nichols going to finish off the drive for him. Handles the high snap and reaches just over the goal line there for a score. 6-6. Tie ball game at halftime. This was close, but the win to overtime, too. Centralia edges out H-Town 24-18 to keep its season alive. Scoreboard now. Southern Boone, excuse me, not scoreboard, we're going to go to Southern Boone. How about we go down the road to Ashland, hosting Wright City in their first district quarterfinal matchup. Eagles repping the whole black look tonight. We love to see that. Wright City would get the party started. Dewan McRoberts calls his own number. And look at this. He's got some room. He's going on a 25-yard quarterback run. 6-0 now in favor of Wright City. Eagles would respond, though. Brady Dabkis capitalizes on the red zone carry, finds the end zone. Southern Boone takes a 7-6 lead after the extra point. The Southern Boone fans approve, and I gotta say, we approve of the Halloween costumes. Happy early Halloween, everyone. After two Southern Boone touchdowns get called back because of penalties. Look at this. Austin Evans hits Chase Morris. Third time's a charm. We do get a touchdown there for the senior quarterback wide receiver duo. Southern Boone making plays on defense tonight as well. The right city snap is fumbled and Hunter Ulrich falls on the ball down at the one yard line. I think they'll take that. That would set up another Brady Dapkiss touchdown opportunity. Close call here on fourth down. Line judge gonna rule the touchdown though. That score puts Southern Boone up 26 to 13. Ultimate, ultimately going on to win 47 to 25. Moverly kicking off the class three district four quarters with a matchup against Macon tonight. First quarter, no score. Jackson Engel pitches it to Gage St. Clair on the option. Gage St. Clair cuts back and strolls into the end zone. Spartans up 7-0. Nice start. Next drive, Engel rolling out, scans the field, but decides to tuck it and run. That was a wise decision. He makes a man miss, and he's going to go all the way in to the house to put the Spartans up 14-0. That's about as fast as a start as you could ask for. Flash forward to the second quarter now. Macon down 21 nothing. It's fourth and long, but they're going to bust out a bag of tricks here. Jonathan Bray keeps it on the fake punt and picks up the first down. Tigers, though, unable to capitalize on that big play later in the second quarter. Angle going to hand it off to Kayvon Tiger. Love the name, but love the play even more. Finds a big hole and plows into the end zone for his second touchdown of the night. Macon still trying to get on the board here, though. It's tough to do against this team. Having some trouble here on the exchange. Watch this. The ball is on the ground, and Chris Alexander pounces on it, which means it's time to break out the turnover chain. He is a happy guy. The Spartans are happy. I know the fans are happy because Spartans win big tonight, 49 to 10. Nice job out there, guys. Scoreboard now. Hannibal cruises past St. Charles, 64 to 12. Mexico season ends with a 57-6 loss to Holt. Eldon ruts Buffalo, 63 to 12. California takes down Clinton, 49 to 26. Russellville edges out Fayette, 32 to 28. Herman tops Montgomery County, 27 to 14. Clark County shuts out Palmyra, 14 nothing. Another regular season rematch on tonight's slate is a rivalry that these next two schools always circle on the calendar. I know I do too. North Callaway and South Callaway. That's right. The Bulldogs and the Birds renewing the Callaway Cup rivalry with both team seasons on the line this time. South Callaway claimed the trophy back in week two, but who's going to earn the bragging rights this time around? We shall see. First quarter, Tucker Wright. Right in the red zone here. Going to find a hole and run it right through. Thunderbirds on the board first in Mocaine. Nice start there in a rivalry game. Nothing getting past their defense tonight either, though. You got to check this out. South Callaway back to pass here, but Jaden Galbraith blows this play up. Big sack for a turnover. Later on, Bulldogs looking for some points here. Tabor Gray rolling out, trying for something here. He's going to look downfield. 
But look at that nice defense by Lane Kimbley. South Callaway struggled a bit to start, but picked up the pace, winning the postseason edition of the Callaway Cup 26 to 14. School board now Paris falls short against Knox County 50 to 36. Brookfield gets the dub against Lawson 20 to 7. Versailles edges past Cole Camp tonight 28 to 26. Bowling Green routes Mark Twain 54 to 6. That is a wrap on the season finale, folks, of Sports Zone Football Friday. Thank you for sticking with us all season long, but be sure to stay with us every Friday for the rest of football season. We'll still be tracking all the playoff action here in mid-mo.